Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. With the aim of supporting Cameroon in the fight against disinformation and hate speech on social networks, the delegation of the European Union in Cameroon organized a workshop on the theme Social Partners Facing Disinformation. This workshop, chaired by the Minister of Post and Telecommunications, Mined Libom Li Liking, explored the issue of disinformation and challenged each of the participants to fight individually against the phenomenon of disinformation, which is one of the major concerns of democratic countries. Disinformation aims to manipulate public opinion and weaken states and their institutions. Although it is as old as society itself, its current alliance with digital technologies has enhanced its venom and extended its negative impact beyond the natural boundary of the place where it was created. Disinformation these days is therefore the product of toxic business models on the internet designed to distort democracy, social cohesion and the general well-being of citizens. The Minister of Post and Telecommunications, Minet Libom Li Liking, made the comments during the seminar. This seminar, which is headed by a major partner of the European Union, aims to bring together national and international players and experts with a view to seeking appropriate solutions to combat disinformation, which has now become a phenomenon which is worrying. Its objective is to enable players to share their expertise. According to the Minister of Communication, René Emmanuel Sadi, the importance of such an appointment in Cameroon comes at the right time because Cameroon is engaged in an irreversible process of democratization and the quest for this democracy has sprints, drifts and shortcomings driven by misinformation. He made it clear that they are therefore seeking to eradicate this phenomenon. The said meeting is in line with the implementation of the high prescriptions of the head of state relating to the promotion of the culture of cyber security and awareness of the responsible use of social networks. According to Philip Van Dam, the ambassador, head of the European Union delegation to Cameroon in Equatorial Guinea, the wish of the EU delegation is to provide everyone with a means of detecting false news. A worrying practice that undermines living together and social cohesion in Cameroon. During this workshop, media professionals are singled out and found guilty of spreading false news. The false manipulation of information originated by these media players tends towards the loss of their credibility because, according to the Minister of Communication, other media have deliberately decided to exercise their profession on the margins of the ethics and journalistic ethics. They use the internet tool to spread fake news. So if social networks can build, they can also deconstruct. So they must be used wisely. Hence, the verification of information. To be more explicit, the Min Postel has listed the most common forms of disinformation on social networks, which are false connections, misleading content, false context, imposter, manipulated and fabricated content. This meeting, organized by the delegation of the European Union, took place in the presence of the invited diplomatic representatives, who each in turn gave their opinion on this dangerous phenomenon for the society. These include the Union Nationale, the World Bank, France, Spain, Germany, Italy, Belgium, Canada, Great Britain and the United States. Two sub-themes furnished the work in the workshop the consequences of the disinformation for states and diplomacy, the strategy to be put in place for the coordinated action, concerted and effective action by the states and the international partners against disinformation. The Ministry of Post and Telecommunications and the European Union thus intend to pull their efforts to curb the phenomenon of disinformation in Cameroon.